President Ekufado has called on young Ghanaian historians to search deeper into Ghana's history to unearth the contributions made by prominent personalities to the development of the country, both in the pre-colonial and post-colonial era. He said the new generation of historians have a responsibility to build on the work done by the older generation. President Kufwad was speaking at the 75th anniversary celebration and first memorial lecture and exhibition in memory of a former Ochihine. Nana Selforiata is regarded as one of the pioneers in the field of education in the Ibuakwa states and the nation at large. The late chief of Achim Ibuakwa was born in 1881 and became the occupant of the Kwaibibrim stool in 1912, a position he occupied until his death in 1943. As one of the few educated chiefs in the then Gold Coast, Nano Foyata's effectiveness in both traditional affairs and national politics in those colonial days was very noticeable. He is popularly called Amantra Mai Mienu, which literally means he who betrothes two worlds. He was the longest serving African on the Legislative Assembly the then de facto parliament of the Gold Coast. Some of his many achievements include being the first traditional ruler to establish a stool treasury. He founded the Ibuakwa Scholars Fund and established the first government trade school, as well as the Ibuakwa State College. Delivering a lecture, Ochiman Kania Professor Robert Yao Adofening spoke about the late Ochehine's devoted attention to education. He said as a chief and a legislator in the colonial era, Nana Se Ofuriata encouraged the education of the Ghanaian youth, established primary and secondary schools in Achimibwakwa, and a scholarship scheme. Professor Robert Adofening said he was a beneficiary of that scholarship scheme. I want to put it on record that I was a beneficiary of that scholarship scheme. Indeed, without it... Indeed, without it, I would never have had the opportunity of a secondary school education. At the national level, Nana's tenure as legislator spanned the tenure of six governors, first appointed with the council as an official member on March 28, 1916. He remained a member till his death in August 1943. Nana placed great emphasis on legislative council's role as the custodian of the public purse. A phrase which, according to Margaret Brisley, he used for the first time in 1922 and again 20 years later. The president, Nana Kufado, spoke of an adofening study, which he said is good for the new generation of Ghanaian historians. To the new generation of Ghanaian historians and writers, I say that you have a special responsibility to continue with the work of Edubo Hene and his epigonies, which recognizes the period of European colonization as an incident of our history and not its justification, and which establishes that the great continuum of Ghanaian history defines the determination of our people to build a civilization founded on the values of liberty, common humanity, and solidarity. The desirable conclusion of that history is the mobilization of our immeasurable resources to address our problems, discarding a mindset of aid, dependence, charity, and handouts, and creating a self-reliant, prosperous Ghana that will deal with others on the basis of equality and mutual respect. The study which Ochiman Kania Professor Robert Yao Adufening has compiled into a book is entitled Achim Ibuakwa, 1700 to 1943, from Oforipening to Se Oforiata. The study was relaunched.